Hey friends, Gator Mom here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a good day. Today we're chatting all about some of the newest releases from Lily J. All right, so I have three new, I have three new bags to share with you today. Um, two of them are brand new styles um, or newer within the past couple of months, and then one is an old style but with a brand new leather. So bunch of goodness, bunch of new stuff, but. As always with all of these kind of first look type videos where I'm just going over the ins and outs of the bags, I would love to know down below if there's any of these that you want to see full packing videos on. And I have one more question, one more step further. <laughs> um, recently I've been putting out a lot of short form content, the vertical type um, YouTube shorts or Instagram reels or TikToks that um, kind of go through sped up versions of just bags in general packed up. Um, and I'm curious, is that something that you guys are enjoying seeing? Um, does it really give you a full feel of the bag, um, which is something I assume you're looking for when deciding on whether or not you want to purchase a bag? Or do you prefer the traditional sit down long form um, detailed packing videos? Or maybe you prefer both. I don't know. <laughs> I would love any feedback that you have on that um, because it really helps me kind of gauge uh, which direction I'm going. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with probably my favorite bag that I'm holding in this particular lineup of Lily Jade, and that is the Large Anna. It has been a minute since I've had this style bag. I actually think I think I have I yes I have a packing video on the Large Anna when it was first released. Um, a couple of years back now. I'll stick it up here in the cards or down in the description box somewhere so you guys can refer back to that one. But it's been a while um, since I've owned the Large Anna and when Lily Jade released this brand new old English leather color which is called Sand, I knew it was gonna look absolutely beautiful in this Large Anna. I love how soft and squishy it is. I recently did one of those short form videos where I kind of went in and showed you how I have this one packed up. I have been using it like crazy because my home is in the middle of a home renovation slash kitchen renovation and this is the perfect like all-purpose kind of work on the go type bag if I'm explaining that like properly but I can fit absolutely everything that I need in here to kind of pop from place to place and be able to work from anywhere around the house considering my entire downstairs is concrete floors. <laughs> Let's talk about some of the strap options on this large Anna backpack. Um, you do have an optional um, messenger strap or a shoulder type strap that comes with the bag. I always keep it attached because I tend to go from shoulder and also to backpack mode with this one a lot. I like having the shoulder strap just because it makes it easy to grab in and out of the car. You do have two anchored up here at the top. They're not removable, but they are stationary backpack straps. But if you did not like the look of them on the back of your bag, you could easily um, take them off down here at the bottom and tuck them in the magnetic back pocket of this bag. So I love that because it kind of gives it a little bit of a different look if you didn't like those straps. Now, one request that I have for Lily Jane <laughs> that would make this bag like even more awesome is if this back pocket had a zipper down here for a luggage sleeve. I think that would be that would be awesome. But with it being a backpack, um, if I'm in and out of an airport or something, nine times out of ten I'm gonna have it on my back anyways. That was just a little kind of personal preference since I travel a lot. <laughs> These side pockets on this bag are nice and spacious. Obviously with the size of this bag, you can fit any size water bottle. You can fit tall ones, short ones, even wider ones. Um, they fit absolutely no issues at all in this pocket. Um, you can see by the way that I keep holding this bag that the grab handle is absolute perfection. I love this one. It's just nice and sturdy. Um, the Anna is designed with kind of two bags in one, if that makes sense. So you have the front big open, actually before I jump to that, let, let's back up a little bit. <laughs> let's talk about these front um, pockets and then we'll get into the big part. Um, you have one big external pocket down here and then you have a hidden zipper pocket, which you might not even realize at first glance of this bag, but you have a zipper pocket back here at the top and it opens up to go the entire length of the front of the bag. So it's absolutely perfect for like travel documents or your planner or um, anything really that you just kind of want a place to keep it secure yet accessible really easily. So 
I love that as far as the design of this one. Now jumping into the main bulk of the bag. <laughs> this bag has two different compartments. You have one on the back here that goes all the way down, which I'll get to in just a second. And then you have this other front main one that goes halfway um, down on the bag. Both here have a double zipper pull, so you could open them from any direction. And this one here in the front actually is a little bit kind of wider, I think, than the one in the back. I don't know, I could be wrong. Um, but it opens up nice and wide. There's so much room in here to put like a thermal lunchbox or the Lily Jade packing cases or any type of um, organization that you like inside your bags. You could really do pretty much whatever inside this one. It also has these um, two little slit pockets in here, which is great for kind of small things, and you have a zipper pocket. So there's just lots of ways that you can organize the inside of this pocket. Moving on to the other bag in this Anna <laughs> is this back part here. And like I said, it does have the double zipper pulls, only this one opens up all the way down, so completely flat. And it also has a laptop sleeve right here in the top. It has a magnetic closure and it's nice and padded. I can easily put my 13 inch or my 15 inch laptop in this one and still have room to slip like a magazine or a thin kind of calendar that I tend to use in there with it. So I love that. You also have two elastic pockets here which are great to put kind of tall pen pouches or um, my sunglasses I put back here, like I have a sunglass case. So lots of different ways to kind of use these charging cables, all that kind of thing. And even with putting things in that pocket and with this back pocket, I still have more um, room in the middle if I want to put my planner. So I love the way this packs up and I really, really like this sand color a lot. <laughs> Moving on to the next bag that I want to share with you today, and that is the Brittany bag. Now I did a full uh, packing video and review here of this old English um, Brittany bag, so I will link that um, either up here or like I said in the description box, um, so you can really see kind of what fits inside this one. This here is um, one of their vegan leather options, and let me tell you, it is so soft. The leather is just really, really squishy and um, lightweight. It feels super durable. I have a couple of Lily Jade's um, vegan leather bags, like my Carolyn is so good. It's one of my favorite bags. Um, I will link that so you guys can reference back to it. But the leather over time becomes so soft and kind of squishy like. It's just, it's absolutely beautiful. So this here is their newest snake print and it is a black and gray and white pattern. I'll kind of zoom in so you can see it up close a little bit. You can see that you have the Lily J tassel over here on the side little bit different than their leather bags. The charm is just a bit different, but this pattern is just so fun. Now on the Britney bag, you have a couple different ways that you can carry it. It does come with this nice long um, strap that you can use to convert to carry this bag a couple of different ways. <clears throat> you can attach it here on the side with these D-rings to carry it over your shoulder or a crossbody. You can of course carry it with this cute little grab handle here at the top of the bag, or on the back of it, you do have hooks down here at the bottom and one in the center here that you can make it a um, backpack carry. So I love the versatility of this one. I just think it's so cute and compact. I really like this pattern a lot. Um, on the back, you actually have one zipper pocket that goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. On the front, you have the same zipper pocket, nice Lily Jade logo. The bottle pockets are nice and spacious on this Britney as well. And when you open it up, you have a bunch of organization internal zip pocket that's trimmed in that same kind of snake leather there and then you have some internal pockets over here on this side as well so i love it like i said i have it here in the old english limb side by side for those of you um, that were curious here all right last but not least of the bags that i want to share today is one that i've had for a little while now but i haven't done a full packing video on this one yet so i thought i would mention it in today's video since i haven't had a chance to share it but this one here is i think the biggest bag from lily jade now and that is the sarah grace i do have the megan um, I have, of course, the Caroline um, and some other ones that I can do a comparison to this one. I should probably do like a big, massive Lily Jade comparison video. That would be a fun one to do. That would that would be an intense project, <laughs> but that would be very informative. Um, but this one does come with a strap that you can carry it crossbody or just a little bit longer if you need to, say, if you're traveling with this bag. 
um, but it is huge. It is a big, huge, like travel bag, work bag, um, a large diaper bag. You could probably easily fit the Lily Jade bag organizer in here if you wanted to use this one as a diaper bag. Um, the back of this bag here does have the option to carry it as a backpack. As you can see, the straps fit nice and secure down there, and they even took it one step further. So instead of having the hooks hang out back here all of the time, there's actually a little tiny slit in the side of the bag here, and you can pull out the hook to make it a backpack carry. So I love that option because with this bag being so big, you may not wanna carry it backpack way, or if you're traveling or you wanna make it a diaper bag, you may need to be hands-free. So it's nice to have that option. The drop length on these handles are another thing that I wanted to note. They are so long, so, so long. <laughs> they are nice and roomy. If you are taller, like this is the bag for you because you're absolutely gonna have no issues at all carrying this one. On the front of the bag here, you actually have one big pocket that goes all the way down here. And then you also have this magnetic kind of closure pocket here on the side. And then you have another magnetic pocket over here on the front. So nice little outside pockets for small essentials. You also have, um, of course, the Lily J tassel, which is signature on a lot of their bags, um, on all of their bags. And then the bottle pockets. The bottle pockets on this bag are huge. You can fit, I, I would challenge you to find a bottle that's not gonna fit in the side of this pocket. <laughs> it is so, so roomy. Um, and then just a quick look kind of on the inside. Again, I plan to pack this one up in more detail. Um, but you have two slip pockets, a key leash, a zipper pocket, and then on the sides of the bag here, you actually, right down there, have insulated bottle pockets. So it is so, so deep, so much extra room on top, even with stuff on the main bulk down here in it. Um, I think it's a really, really awesome, awesome style. All right, I think that does it for today's video. I sure hope it was helpful kind of showing some of the new bags from Lily Jade and doing a quick little comparison, if you will, of them. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I'm always happy to help. I will have links to Lily Jade in the description box and also kind of in the comments pinned at the top there. Um, but until next time, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.